you have to find, you know, I've told you from the first day you ever met me, the foundation upon that, that awakening depends. Have I not? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Perseverance. Perseverance. Determination. 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 Vigilance. Vigilance. Persistence. Persistence. Yeah. <laughs> From the very beginning, I've told you that those are requirements for someone that has to, who wants to wake up. Yeah. And then, of course, you can look at surrender, but then you'd have to be consistently, persistently vigilant about your surrender. surrender. So that, that's why those are the foundation. Because without that, you won't surrender. You'll, you'll look at surrender and you'll go, oh, this is just loss. I'm not going to do that. You won't persevere. You won't be vigilant for the attempts to, for you know Satan to move you off of your desire to be a servant of you know the light. So those attributes are, are they're, they're not optional. Standard equipment for all of you. And that's what's being said. Hey, you know, if you're not willing for that, turn around. Go back into the world. Continue to try to find, you know, the joy and the happiness that, that you think is there until you've had a lot more disappointment. And then you are sincere about your awakening and you'll be willing to experience anything to get to your awakening. No matter what's in the way, you won't stop. Because you know what's behind you. Right. So turning around doesn't really no present an option to you anymore. Alternative. I think I shared with you that one day I went to master teacher and I was I was just so kind of pissed off, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> confused, <laughs> confused, pissed off, uh, upset. Mm. And I just said to him, you know, I can't seem to go forward and I know I can't go backwards because it doesn't hold anything for me anymore. I just feel totally ruined. Mm -hmm. And he smiled. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I told you. <laughs> I said, yeah, but being stuck halfway is terrible. Terrible, yeah. Because you don't feel that you've got what it takes to move forward. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's true, but you feel that way and you think that way, and you know you can't go back. I even told him I looked at the idea of getting a job at McDonald's yeah. or just flipping some hamburgers and then just going home, you know, and not having any problems and just finding a way to live on three dollars an hour. because mm -hmm. you know that's what they would pay you. But at least then I wouldn't, I, you know, this is the way I was talking. You know, at least then I won't have the kind of problems I have by, you know, uh, looking for all the things that is going to, you know, uh, require me to be awake. And I, mm -hmm. I should I have to listen to you, <laughs> you know, who's really on me to, mm -hmm. to stay firmly on the path. And all the brothers that I had, uh, you know, disappointments with and, and arguments with and, don't listen to me, and, and I'm sure they don't love me. I mean, that would be way hell of a, a step, you know, for me to see their love. I didn't have anything going for me. And I was hoping to somehow I get some sympathy from him. <laughs> right? Isn't that what you, you do that? You get them for sympathy from your brothers and stuff? Yeah. And he just said, yeah, I, I, yeah, I warned you. And that wasn't a solution that, you know, right. for me to remember that he warned me. No. That didn't change anything about where I was at, right. other, other than I knew I couldn't go to him yeah. for yeah. sympathy. Right. That's right. Yeah. That was an important moment. Yeah. I never went to him for sympathy after that. I knew if I was going to be involved with him, it had to be so that whatever I was still holding on to could be brought into the light and he would look at that with me and I would I would be in the willingness to 
go beyond. Mm -hmm. That was the agreement I had with my master. He would help me look at what I needed to look at. And I would find what was required to go beyond it. And how I had to find what was required to go beyond it was the efforts that I needed to make to listen to the Holy Spirit. Who knows everything that I need to know. And I was in a moment of saying, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm stuck. Blah, 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 blah. Just complaining, you know, and just unwilling to do the simple things that I was asked to do. Like, don't judge my brothers. Forgive them. Set them free. Make an effort to see them as the Christ instead of the verification and justification for seeing them as anything less than the Christ. Do you guys ever try that? Yeah. Seeing your brother as something other than a problem? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what your creator is asking of you. To stop seeing your brothers as problems and make an effort to see the Christ in them, the Holy Spirit in them. And sometimes you feel stuck. Well, but that's what your mighty companions are for, or that's what your master is for, to help you get through those moments where if, if you didn't get help, you'd be stuck. Mm -hmm. And that would be hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all know what hell's like, don't we? Yes. We all know what the feeling of being stuck is like. Yes. We all know what the feeling is. I can't seem to go forward with this. I don't even know if I want to go forward anymore. Wow. Just, yeah. Yeah, all those different thoughts that show up in your mind. Mm -hmm. That's part of awakening. Mm -hmm. That's part of what it looks like. It's called transformation. 